Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the second part of coordinate geometry, chapter 3. We're just going to have a look at uh, this second bullet point here, finding the equation of a straight line given sufficient information, e.g. the coordinates of two points on it, or one point on it and its gradient. And we're also going to look at uh, this bullet point, which is interpret and use linear equations, particularly of those two forms. I'm really going to focus on the first one. Some people like to use the second one, but I like to use uh, this one here y equals mx plus c. You may have seen these uh, things. So the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c. m is the gradient of the line and c is the y-intercept. So you're always going to have m, uh, sorry, y and x in the equation. You're not going to have any y squareds, no x squareds. The straight line is just going to look like this with a y and an x. That's the gradient of the line and that is the y-intercept. So if we have y equals 2x minus 1, the gradient is 2. That's the number in front of the x, the coefficient of the x. And the y-intercept sitting on the end there is minus 1. So here's that line going through minus 1, and it has a gradient of 2. So if we start there at minus 1, we'd go up 2 and across 1 to get the next point. From that point, up 2 and across 1, etc. <clears throat> so the coordinates of any point lying on the line satisfy the equation. So if we substitute x equals 4 into there, we get y equals 7, so that's a point on the line, 4, 7. Here's an example, and we're going to use this technique a lot. Um, we want to find the equation of a line with a particular gradient going through a particular point. So in this case, we haven't got the y set, we've got another point on the line. So <clears throat> I know the equation of the line is y equals mx plus c, so I just substitute everything that I know. I know that m, the gradient, is 2, and I know the coordinates of a point on the line are minus 1 and 3. You've just got to get those in the right order. The minus 1 here with the x, and the 3 here with the y. Okay, solving this little equation, 3 is minus 2 plus c. Add 2 to both sides. Gives us c equals 5. So <clears throat> the equation is y equals 2x plus 5. Here's some examples of straight lines, gradient and y-intercept, 2x plus 1, a quarter x, so the number in front of the x is a quarter, the y-intercept would be 0, there's no number on the end, and this last one here, negative a half x minus 2, gradient of negative a half, y-intercept of minus 2. If we have a look at the graphs of those three, there we have 2x plus 1 going through 1 with a gradient of 2, so from that point up 2 and across 1. Gives you another point. Remember, all we need is two points on this line. Uh, a quarter x here, so the gradient is 1 over 4. So rise over run. Rise is 1, the run is 4. So from this point here, we go up 1 and across 4 to get our next point. For the blue line, the y intercept is negative 2, so we start at negative 2, and the gradient is negative a half. So we go down 1, across 2, negative 1 over 2. Okay, <clears throat> so you should be able to draw these lines here given the equation. You also should be able to come up with the equation given these straight lines. It's also good to know the equations of uh, these particular kind of lines, y equals 2, so there's no x in this one, just y equals 2. That's the red line here going straight across horizontal. The gradient is 0 and the y intercept is 2. And another special type, x equals negative 1 or x equals anything, is just a vertical line going through that value of x. The gradient here is undefined. We don't say it's infinite, it's just undefined. And it has no y intercept. Okay, so there's two particular special cases of lines that you need to know about it. Okay, so just emphasize that in this, in this thing here. One more example of what I was talking about. <clears throat> Find the equation of the line where the gradient of 4 passes through the point 2, 3. So I'll just go through this one more time. So the gradient is 4, the x value is 2, and the y value is 3. So putting that into that equation, 3 is 8 plus c, c is minus 5. So we've got m, the gradient is 4, we've found c is minus 5. The equation of the line is y equals 4x minus 5. Okay, that's a technique that we're going to use again and again.
many times. And here's the here's that line. Just note over here, guys, negative uh, 3x over 2 is the same as 3x over negative 2, negative 3 over 2x. These are all the same thing, different ways of writing the same thing. Okay, in every case here, the gradient is negative 3 over 2. So I'd kind of think of it like down 3 and across 2, if you're looking at the gradient. <clears throat> down 3 across 2. Okay, uh, another example here is when we want to write the equation of a line in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are going to be integers. And normally the value of a is positive. So if we do the same thing here, we start with the two points. I'd definitely draw these this line out, even if you're not given the grid, draw it out. Here we've got the point at minus 1, 4, a point at 2, 2. I've worked out the gradient, down 2 and across 3. So the gradient is minus 2 thirds. And then I just choose one of those points to use here. I could have chosen uh, minus 1, 4, but I've put in 2, 2. X value of 2, Y value of 2. So I've used point B. That gives me a C value of 10 over 3. 2 plus 4 over 3. And when you're multiplying here, you just multiply the top lines. Okay, so there's my equation. Negative 2 thirds x plus 10 over 3. But we want it in this particular form up here. ax plus by plus c equals 0. So just a little bit of algebraic manipulation. Multiply everything by 3. So times this by 3, this by 3, and this by 3. We get this here. And then just put everything over to the left-hand side. So 2x plus 3y minus 10 equals 0. And that's done. And as I've got over here, we could write it this way, minus 2x minus 3y plus 10 equals 0. But normally we make the x turn positive.